లేదు She's asking for the crucifix. No, I don't understand. Sister Cecilia, you say all knowledge comes from God. All true knowledge. False knowledge is not knowledge. The devil <laughs> twist the truth. No. He can perhaps create falsehood. But I asked a perfectly reasonable question. I will not discuss it. Mankind presumably reproduces itself in much the same way as the animal kingdom. Silence. <laughs> God created man in his own image. That is true? Yes. That is in holy writ. Then if man has organs of reproduction, <laughs> it's logical to suppose that God also has blasphemy. <laughs> Your argument is that if God Almighty created man in his image, then God also must have certain parts of... <laughs> it is an interesting theological point. To which Holy Writ, to my knowledge, finds no answer. That is why I asked Sister Cecilia. She's my teacher, she should know. I would not have this child blaspheme me. And Sister Cecilia told you quite correctly, in my opinion, that the private parts of God Almighty form no part of a lesson on the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. I shall speak to her most severely. Now, I must not keep you from your other pupils. Reverend Mother. Oh, child, my child, it is an enchanting question. I'm sure you think them are purely to annoy. Why do you have to make Sister Cecilia's life such purgatory? But she's such a... A fool, I know. But charity, child. Well, she will only have to suffer for a few more days. Your uncle wants you back in Paris. Paris? Paris. When do I go? Reverend Mother, I shall miss you so much. <laughs> I'm not long for this world, and you have but two choices, to be the bride of man or the bride of Christ. And you have no calling for the church. 
Help me up. The Bishop of Paris will be returning from Rouen. He will pass this way in a few days, and you can join his party. But if he speaks to you, please remember that education in women is frowned upon, and for you could be very dangerous. So, my child, no discussions about the loins of the Creator. <laughs> Oh, yes, my dear. I have something for you. What is it? Ah, my old mother made one for me. I made one for you. Burn it. If the smoke is sweet, he'll be true to you. But if it is bitter, no, it won't be, my dear. My dear. My dear. Reverend Mother. Oh. No. Bishop. Eloise. Your Grace. Charming. Charming. I know her uncle, Fulbert. He's a canon of my cathedral. He has many qualities. I'm so glad. Mostly those of an Andalusian horse dealer. Oh, I see. I understand he wishes her married. Knowing the dear Canon, well married, she'd better ride with me. Oh, goodbye, Reverend Mother. I'll remember you always. God bless you and keep you. Gadarene swine? But what's your difficulty, my dear? It's all perfectly simple. Our Lord banished the evil spirit into the swine, who then destroyed themselves. But what were the swine doing there in the first place? A pig was an unclean animal to the Jews. Who would they belong to? Um... Do you know, I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor, it was most considerate of the bishop to escort my niece. Remarkable work on the Cathedral Building Fund. I congratulate you. His grace is in your debt. I was owed favors, Vice Chancellor. <laughs> place into a madhouse. It's too popular with this rabble. Indeed. He's turning the cathedral schools into a place of entertainment. Brilliant he may be. Brilliant has its place, but not adulation. Mr. 
job. Why is there no work on the North Tower? The Masons, Your Grace. They are Flemish. Ah. Helen Fulbert. A most delightful child. Latin, Greek. She has the accomplishments of a man twice her age. Quite delightful. I shall come to dinner. It would be an honor, Your Grace. I trust that... Greetings, Uncle. Well done. Well done, my child. Well done. Well done. The bishop is coming to dinner. <laughs> place I've ever seen. Uh, well, my friends tell me I have a flair, and I hope it will suit until you've decided upon your future. My lord sent me out to buy you some prisses. Naturally, as a canon of the church, I, uh, I know little of such things. Notre Dame will be the finest cathedral ever. Maybe. The finding of the money to match the city's aspirations will need some business uh, tact. Aren't the merchants' intentions to show their aspirations to the glory of God? Oh, yes. And to the glory of the merchants. Master Poussin has arrived, my lord. Excellent. I'll come at once. Perhaps you'll join me later on. Of course, uncle. <laughs> It's an agatha. Well, I, I couldn't let it go for under two hundred. No. No, of course you couldn't. But perhaps uh, this would interest you. Some of the very straw upon which the Christ child lay in the manger. Would it be more or less? Surely it would be hay. What? Hay. No animal would eat straw. It was a manger. Hey, it's possibly hey. Uh, you know my niece and uh, the bishop who greatly admires her intelligence were in deep discussion only today. Could you give me until today week to decide? Of course, no trouble. On another matter, it's time my son was married. Perhaps you would consider an alliance. Well, we <clears throat> must certainly discuss it. You know, he is already squire to the Baron Rocher. Well, until next week then. A master Poussin. The man's practically a tradesman. If it takes him a week to think about buying a relic, then he certainly isn't in the market for you. I would have offered him the foreskin of our lord, but he couldn't come near the prize. I thought that was at St. Mark's in Venice. Uh, yes, it is just true. Yes, there is one there. Then how can it possibly... Oh, my dear child, these sacred relics are kind of reproduce themselves. It's part of the miraculous nature. And if some of them are, perhaps... Uh, Forgeries? Uh, replicas. Who am I to judge? Now, a peasant kneels down before one and prays. God hears his prayer and he gets up a better man. I... Thus, we've done some good both for God and for man. Have we not? Thou shalt not kill. And yet, in the book of Samuel, praise is heaped on two of Israel's greatest kings. For being men of peace, no, 
Saul has slain thousands and David ten thousand. But Israel was under attack. It was kill or be killed. I had to self-defense. No! Thou shalt not kill except in self-defense! Yes! Yes! But the commandments are for the guidance of ordinary men! Kings are ordained by God himself. Therefore, they speak in God's name when a man is hanged or, or an enemy put to the sword. God speaks through them. And his bishops. <laughs> When two Christian kings are at war, does God speak through both? One must be false. Are we to question the ways of God? Perhaps he wishes to punish both nations. Then why give the commandment in the first place? <laughs> and now consider this. He's a dangerous revolutionary in arguments, disputations. Is that any way to teach the established word of God? Meanwhile, your lectures are half empty. Hmm? Senior members of the convocation are ignored. I tell you, he's nothing more than a demagogue. He lives with his students, eats with them, drinks with them. If he wasn't a teacher and therefore by custom chased, I swear by heaven he would sleep with him. But who is to say? <laughs> Perhaps to avoid it. You are right. There are certain proprieties to be observed. There is much to lead one astray in this world and towards hell in the next. Is it nobler to resist temptation or to avoid it? What is temptation? Temptation is finding the best looking whore in Paris bending down to smell a flower. <laughs> no, that's lust. <laughs> temptation would be if you had found a piece of silver in the gutter 30 seconds before. What is noble? To see you drop the piece of silver and give it back. Is that avoiding temptation or resisting it? I'd call it stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> you, my dear Francois, would probably pocket the silver and jump on the whore anyway. That would be greed. collecting it. It would have been stolen in seconds. What are you going to do with it? Give it to his parents, of course. And where are they? Well, they must be here somewhere. We can't just leave the body by the side of the road. But perhaps we can help. Thomas, tell them I will not be teaching until noon. Go to each street and search for the parents. To touch these would be sacrilege. They will be quite safe. I know who he is. I'll take him. 
One of Suger's men, wasn't it? They're like animals. Come. I'll take you home. Thank you. But I live just there. Then you are Eloise. The Gadarene swine would have belonged to the Romans. The bishop spoke of you. Who's he? Lady, you cannot have been in Paris long. That is the great teacher. He's Rabelais. Jourdain de Planisol, lady. If I can ever be of service, I'll ask any of the scholars. Never been with a woman in your life. You're a man like other men. When I was young, like you, I had girls by the dozen. <laughs> Every experience in life was there to savor to the full. <laughs> <laughs> then I found my vocation as a philosopher. But like other men, you accept tradition without logic. The unwritten law that teaches in the school remains celibate. For me, it's much more personal. God has entrusted me with a great gift. He has ordained that teaching is my life. For my part, I must carry my side of the bargain. If I were to take a woman, I would be flying in the face of my maker, spitting in the face of God. Don't you understand? He would take away his gift, damn me for all eternity. And he would be right. This is a terrible prize. Too high for me. <laughs> There's a girl down the street and get me standing like a crocus. <laughs> crocus! Crocus! That's a prince. <laughs> Once I had glimpsed those twin peaks of her breasts. Then could my passion crazed soul find no rest. Oft in my dreams I would fuel her desire, kissing, caressing to set her on fire. At last releasing from sorrow increasing and treble unceasing, I'll consummate bliss. Sealed with a kiss, sealed with a kiss, sealed with a kiss. Oh, that the end of my dreams could be this. Sealed with a kiss, sealed with a kiss, sealed with a kiss. Oh, at the end of my dreams could be this. Stop it! Bit. As long as you have lodgings in this house, there'll be none of that. <laughs> and you think I want a woman? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, madam. She is well educated, she speaks the Latin, and of course has the Greek, which she learnt was at a conference. The bishop, indeed, was most impressed with her. Now, what about the settlement on her son, my young, the great nephew? In any event, not until maturity. Or upon pledge of marriage? Very well. Two hundred cattle and pasture, but a dowry chest. Not less than fifty ells of linen. That's satisfactory. Oh, I'm sure we can come to terms. Ah, here's Gaston. For you, Eloise. I'll teach you to hunt, if you like. Please, Uncle, I beg you. Gaston can't even read, and they all smell like styes. My dear, young Lamarck will inherit the title. 
32 manors and an income of thousands. I beg, Uncle. In time, your son, my great-nephew, will be the Baron. Please. You're almost as greedy as that damn convent. Oh, very well, little one. The thought of that lout bedding you is really too much. I don't think this is very funny. Oh, don't be so pompous. It's just a joke. Master Abelard, your rent is due tomorrow. Then tomorrow you shall have your rent. If I pay you now, you would be in my debt, and I'm sure you would not want that. He's arrived. Is it more noble to resist temptation or to avoid it, my lord? You must have cost those devils a pretty penny. Get dressed. No, not yet, my lord. Come over here. How long did they pay you for? All night, my lord. All night. Then I suggest we lie down. I bet he doesn't do it. I bet he does. A philosopher never. He said he wouldn't. Contract with God. God doesn't have legs like that. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Pay up. This is going to cost me a fortune. Right. Then let's go. No. You might make it yet. They told me I'd get another 20 pieces of silver if you mounted me. <laughs> you shall have your money anyway. God, it's the watch! Out! Grace, this time he has gone too far, lying with a common courtesan. Without, however, the expected result. His word, if we feel that. The woman of the streets. The wretches who hired her. He brings the schools, the city, your grace's person, all of us, into disrepute. He challenges established knowledge. God's word. From the mouth of a fornicator. This is not fornicator. I agree. His behavior ill becomes a teacher of these schools. But his success and his reputation brings acclaim to our cathedral. His fame brings visitors who bring trade, and he brings money to Paris. We will speak with him. You doubt my chastity? No, no, no. But I'm probably the only member of convocation who doesn't. I know. They object to the way I teach. Certainly they do. 
They are jealous. <laughs> of course. And lack the spirit of the times. All this debating. Why need your students speak at all? It's better for them to learn to cut their own meat than to be fed pap. Why should we... Enough. I won't have you disputing with me. I'm merely instructing you to mend your ways. And to begin with, I intend to find you respectable lodgings, you agree? It's time you were bored a little. <laughs> May I choose my own executioner? Welcome, Master Abelard. He said there was nothing more she could teach the child. Never spent a more enjoyable journey. One didn't expect to discuss the gadarene swine with your niece. I had an aunt once. Ended up as an abbess at Carr. Brilliant woman. Looked like the back of a flat iron. Must have been 40 when I knew her. Dead now, of course. Must have been. I hear you took her out to meet Lamarck's boy, eh? Fine estates. Rich, too. Oh, really? I thought we were to discuss my son. Preliminary discussions. With a mind like hers, I must consider these things. My son has Latin and Greek. And, of course, Lamarck only inherits a barony. But plenty of time to think of marriage, isn't there, my dear? Of course, my child, of course. <laughs> Younger son of a duke. Nothing less, I'd say. You're trespassing. On my thoughts. Why did you leave? That's the reason you gave. I ask the reason. I couldn't bear being talked of as a thing. Tell me what you like to read. Philosophy. Science, mathematics, astronomy. Theology? Some. Romances? No. Did you read this? It's probably as well. I was translating from Catullus. One of those more bawdy love poems. He would never talk of a woman as a thing. Good night, my lord.
Oh, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm delighted to have you feel you can come and go as you please in, uh, in my house. Good morning. Your niece has asked to borrow some of my books. Naturally, I agreed. Well, the most kind, most generous. I wondered if you would like me to guide her studies. Oh, don't concern yourself with her and uh, her accomplishments. Some wife. I mentioned the idea to the bishop. Really? And uh, what was his opinion? He said it could only bring luster to your name. Oh, well, I, I certainly see no objection. None whatever, please. Surely a law is a law. Who are we to pick and choose which we will obey? Because Holy Mother Church differentiates between... On whose authority? Where is such authority to be found in the New Testament? Our Lord said, I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. On the authority of the saints. How many saints did our Lord create? Our Lord picked apostles who... Have later been made saints. Except one. How do we know that Judas was not doing God's will? The God of the Old Testament is so different from our Lord. The Old's a God of vengeance, and you a God of love. How can one believe in enough, both? Enough, enough, enough. Whatever God it is, I thank him that you're not in my public classes. I would rather argue with the sacred college of cardinals. No. I would rather argue with you than anyone in the world. The college of cardinals would be much easier. Have you read any of the classic poets? Those you? How do you define poetry? Surely it defines itself. No. Then it is memorable prose, a mirror held to truth, then written down. Good. Very good. I'll remember that. I've read your poems too. Mirrors held to truth. Nope. Memorable prose. Father, I've sinned. My mind has been filled with carnal lusts. <laughs> I'm not surprised, my son. You are not? She's one of the most beautiful creatures in Paris. To find her naked in your bed and sin only in the mind, I think you are to be congratulated, not pardoned. But that's all behind you now. How's my friend the canon? You're not dead of boredom yet? No, my lord. But badly wounded. <laughs> he tells me you're a model of good behavior. Not before time. My, my penance, father. What? Oh, yes. Four paternosters, quite enough. temptation come from God or the devil? When did our Lord Christ tempt anyone? But God tempted Abraham. He put Job to the test again and again. How can anything evil come from God? It is impossible. It's a contradiction. Then who created the devil? Not our Savior, whose birthday if you had forgotten. 
is tomorrow. a kiss my lady Christmas it is the custom is it is it the custom my lord it's practically the law Master Abelard, good night. Eloise, I'm going to bed. Do you not owe me something, my lord? It is the custom. It is practically the law. Our lord was betrayed by a kiss. That was preordained. Is this? From the beginning of time.
You smell of incense. Like a church. It was a charm. very hard to feel I've sinned, all through mass. All I can feel is how happy. Yes, yes. Then you feel it too. It must never happen again. every minute of the day. I see your face in the firelight. I... My love, I'm breaking every canon of the law and, and every law of hospitality. So am I. I know, but it can't go on forever. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
one, Master Abela. I expect no mercy, and I give none. You are in check. I would have thought as a logician. You no would... mercy, huh? None. Double check. Check. <laughs> check, mate. Masterly. Well, oh, you're, you're a man to be watched, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Saint John, in his first epistle, states that God is love. One century before, Publius Cyrus claimed that a God could hardly love and be wise at the same time. Master Abelard. Your grace. For weeks now, I have waited at the usual time for your confession, but in vain. How long must I wait? How long must he wait? I've been remiss, my lord. It's been the busiest time of the year for school. Yes, yes, of course. Almighty God, my friend, sees all. He knows all. But now and again, he likes to hear it from our own lips. Remember that. I will. I'll take you back. A god can hardly love and be wise at the same time. <laughs> and a philosopher can hardly love and keep his vows at the same time. Absolution. Mm. You wish for absolution, but are you prepared to repent of your sin? I am a teacher, Father. What is your sin? Fornication. You find it difficult to repent of this sin? Yes, Father. Why? I love her, Father. With my mind, with my body, I have no sense of sin. You have allowed your emotions to corrupt the beliefs of your religion. But you know as well as I that to absolve you is impossible unless you repent. Go, and peace be with you. In the eyes of God, we are innocent. No. Then in our eyes, yours and mine, I will never belong to another. Never. How 
can a god of love not forgive? How can he not look kindly on us? I have gone against his will, and I have done it willingly and of my own choice. How can I fight your god when he is not mine? We are one. You'll never catch one, never. I will, I will. There. The dove's feather, it means love. Mm. This will be my own holy relic. And I proclaim this to be a holy day. Because I can never be happier than I am. changed my plans. Even for a piece of the true cross, the asking price was a scandal. Where have you... The sun was so warm. We were studying uh, Saint Augustine, his confessions. Oh, I know them well. What part? His discourse on theft. You will remember he stole some pears, so we were walking in an orchard. So, my dear, what point did the good saint wish to make? He said what he enjoyed was the sin of theft, much more than the theft of the pears. Did I get that right, my lord? Right. Quite right. Very good. She's making remarkable progress. One's getting warm. I thought you might give it to me. Why should I do that? We want to stay friends, don't we? Nonsense, your name. This is part of your education. These plays are a Christian tradition. <laughs> To please the devil and the ravenous beast who tear his soul and body for a feast. But Daniel kept his soul for God alone. Sealed with a kiss, sealed with a kiss, 
silver kiss Oh, that the end of my dreams could be this. <laughs> who can tell me? The only one who can solve Master Abelard's stiffest problem. <laughs> only the wisest of the wise, Master Abelard's. <laughs> Even better one. Where does... My lord, is it true? Go home, Jourdain. I have been no friend to you. I thought my story of St. Jerome was particularly well received. How clever of you to leave me into it. Well, I must say, child, I thought it a mistake in correcting the vice chancellor's Greek. Well. <laughs> Jourdain. Jourdain, what has happened? There's a lot of talk. What about? Tell me. You are Master Abelard? They say he is your lover. I swear it isn't true. I can't do that. Then it is. Yes. You'll destroy each other, you know that, don't you? Monstrous act. I should have known. Sharing a roof with the beautiful girl would give rise to such nonsense. It's entirely my fault, I should have realized. But she is... Not another word. My reputation is of little importance, but I cannot bring dishonor on her or your house. I shall leave in the morning. Now you can see yourself, my little poet, as I see you. Every minute of the day. Surely this belongs to the Lady Eloise. She gave it to me. Gave it to you? Why would she do that? Jourdain, please talk to him. Ask him to come here. Are you mad? Jourdain, please. You are my only friend. In the world, you are my only friend. You know it would be best if you never saw him again. Best? What is best? Body and soul I ache for him. If there is a soul, every inch of my body longs for his touch. Please, Jourdain.
forced you. No! Don't try to protect him. He wormed his way into my house and he seduced you. No! I love him! Don't use that word about him ever! Ever! My God, to think I trusted that man! You trusted me! Yeah. Soil goods. I'm not unsaleable. Some kind of marriage, but not at all what I wanted. I'm not a chattel! Oh, yes, my Christ, you are. In! Engage, idiot! All I've worked for, all I've done, is dragged down by... I don't give a sou! Your reputation is damned! I'd rather share his table as his whore than be supported by your ill-gotten pieces of silver! He's ruined you, and he's ruined me! <laughs> My God, this isn't the only blood that will flow. You really can't keep her locked up there forever, my lord. I don't see why not, and it's none of your concern. But she's been shut up for weeks. Get about your business, woman. Must have been that fish last night. Oh. oh, it's been the same thing every morning this week. When was your last flux? Uh, first week in Lent. That's ten weeks. Let me see your breasts. By the saints, did no one tell you to use the rennet of a hare? What? You put it inside you, and it curdles the man's seed. It might not be too late. I'm his child. His child. Dearest, I am carrying your child, and I fear my uncle. I must escape from Paris, but how can I avoid Suger and the watch? I may need your help. teaching in Paris. The bishop supports me. I will come as soon as I can. Kiss my sister for me. And give her these. 
Jean is not rich. And Le Palais is not much of a place, but... If you were born there, I'd love it already. My lord, lady, the day goes on. is done. My name. My reputation. Anger can cloud a man's brain. I advise you to act with the greatest caution. Caution? I'm ruined and you talk of caution. I do. Your name is sullied by your own act. And the affair has been compounded by you running about like a demented fowl, squawking at whoever will listen. But your grace... Moreover, you may have lost your reputation. The schools of Paris are in danger of losing the greatest teacher in France. I pray that he will return to his duties, and I would look with the greatest disfavor on any act by you which would prevent that and thwart me. And if I were in your place, I would not cross his students. They worship him. have changed my brother it's you he now loves not logic it is from him Claire come and help me. my lady I'll be gone by first light how can I thank you remember me Christian? <laughs> he can be a Christian if he wishes. What's it mean? It's an instrument for measuring the distance to the stars. A way of measuring heaven. No. 
Never. I am locked to you, body and soul, forever. But Fulbert can still send men at arms to drag you back. You are his chattel. You belong to him. Marry me. Willingly, and in the eyes of Holy Mother Church, you'll break that. Legally, he can no longer touch you. Whatever Fulbert might think, I've done my best to make amends. It's how the world would see it. But not Fulbert. And what about your teaching? I admit there are some difficulties. The idea of a married philosopher is extraordinary. Unique, you mean? Oh, very well, unique. But what of it? It's only custom. A custom society demands. I have made my choice, Eloise. Now you must make yours. In nomine Patri, Fili, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I want the man pilloried. But the cost. Damn the cost! I refer not so much to money as your own personal reputation. You have been made to look somewhat foolish. Your own house, your own niece, and your own nose. And now you want to tell the world? And remember, if you had married her off to some decent young squire, like my son... And you, that's past. I agree. Why not forget it and go about your business? Don't you worry. I'll look after him. Goodbye, little astrolabe. It's not for long. We'll be back before you know it. And then, what adventures we'll have. I know you hate Argentoy, but I can't risk you in Paris. Not with your uncle and Suger. You'll be safe here, and I'll come to see you after. Reverend Mother. Reverend Mother? Sister Cecilia? Yes. The old bat sold her soul to Suger. Our late Reverend Mother was barely cold before he made her prioress. I've arranged for your lodgings. Two months. Should be more than enough. Two months. My love, I must go. I can't very well stay here. Still less with you. I hate this place. I hate those clothes. Thank God I'm not a nun. It's not for long. They say that to love is to die a little. Oh, but not to love. That is to live in purgatory.
My lady, there's a man. He's come to see you. He's in the refectory. Dear Christ, he's dead. No, lady, no, he is not dead. I will not die. Then what? But he is hurt. Tell me. Tell me. They've done him an injury. How? They... They castrated him. It was my uncle, wasn't it? I don't know. I know it was. I understand your feelings, child, but we must accept the will of God and his justice. The will of God? There is no God! Child, I shall pray for you. Pray until your knees are raw! No one will hear but the spiders! I cannot have a blasphemer in my house. Don't worry. I will be gone by morning. Marie, get me my clothes. It is the time of judgment. As one. It is the judgment of this Holy Council that Canon Fulbert be banished from Paris for the rest of his life. going to die. You're going to live and continue with your work. No. And I'm going to stay with you. I am an abomination. You're a man. And I love you. And I can never love you. It's God's just vengeance. I knew it would come. I spit on God and all his saints. When I heard of this thing, God died. Please leave me. This more than I can bear. I will. I have something I must do. Then I will never leave you again. Marie. Yes, lady. This place is a tongue heap.
Ah. Fair niece. I have come to curse you. You? You who brought shame on my name and ruins me. You dared! I've been banished. I've been banished from Paris. I left with nothing. I'm ruined. You are left with life. And I pray it may be long. And full of sickness and misery. I pray your eyes grow dim and your limbs palsied and I curse you in the name of every god that ever was or ever will be. And if you believe in a life hereafter, then I condemn you to the hottest fires of hell. God knows I've been punished enough. All eternity is not long enough to punish you. Thank you, Marie. shaken your faith in God, but it has confirmed mine. He is just, and I must make amends. I know what I must do. I'm going to become a monk. I'm going into the church. My love, you're in no fit state to make a decision. M maybe in a year when... No. It is what I must do, and it's my wish you do the same. What? I said I suggest you do the same. My sister will take good care of our child until he is grown. You selfish, self-centered swine. I'm your woman. We're part of each other forever. Please. I have to make peace with my God. It's no good. Nothing will shake him. You should have seen the size of the petition. Thousands of signatures. All he says is that he think about joining a teaching order. So that his students can still be with him. What will you do?
Will you marry me? Hmm? Yours can be annulled. I wouldn't expect you to love me, but I can give you a home and a name for you and your son. I'm going to inherit the estate of my father's title very soon, and I'd be happy just to... Well, just to look. I love you so very much. Jordan. Sweet, dear Jordan. You know I can't. Bless you. I don't deserve such friendship. <laughs> Sister. Where will you go? I own, owned, Samlen near Corbeil. I will build a community there and teach. You wish me to become a nun? I do. You are without family or friends. You must be somewhere safe where you can use your learning. I will do it. But it is you who has been crucified. You are my Lord. I will love no other. In time. No. No other. But at least this way I may see you now and then.
I am unworthy. Therefore, I cannot kiss my lord. Dearest Eloise, the building goes well, and more and more scholars join me here. They say I'm teaching better than ever, and I believe them. I hear the word of God clearly now. Join me in thanksgiving, you who were made my partner, both in guilt and grace. To me, your praise is more dangerous, because I welcome it. My dearest, I have heard from Le Palais. Our son grows big and strong. Perhaps your sister Jeanne is a more natural mother than I. And although I have little faith in the justice of the world, I hope and pray I may see him once more in this life. Sister! Sister, will you come to the Prioress? What's the matter? The bishop's here. Sujan. The Abbey, Saint Denis, wishes to form another house, and these buildings are needed. What is to become of us? There are other convents. I myself am going to Saint Denis. As the abbess, no doubt. Those who cannot find a place will be absolved from their vows. Each of us must pray for individual guidance. But many are old, near death. We're all in the hands of God. We tried convent after convent. One sister died of the cold. I didn't know where else to go. You're home. Home. I'm giving this place to you. Then it will be our home together. Now sleep, my love. My love?
What is it? I've been appointed abbot of St. Gilda's in Brittany. By Bishop Suger? Mm -hmm. Will they never let us be? Not in this life. I vowed obedience. Will I ever see you again? You would do me a great honor if you allowed me to consecrate a new chapel. If I live, it will take many years. Perhaps not the way you work. It is Christmas Eve, my lord. Do you not owe me something? It is the custom. Why, yes. It's practically the law. Was all this preordained? Only the love. indeed. Worthy even of you. Your day. I couldn't keep him away. I said they'd be feasting. Thank you. Lady, I have taken this young squire into my service. I don't know why. He has such an odd first name. His name is Estrelay. never seems to grow old. <laughs> but with you, of course. We all have to return to the Earth. A favor. If I can. Is it possible that I be buried here? Of course. And in God's time. Perhaps you would share my bed. Never catch one. Never. 
I will. I will. There, you see? This will be my own holy relic. And I proclaim this to be a holy day. Because I can never be happier than I am. Never. Ever. My love. I'm waiting. Thank you.